Welcome back. How would you like to be a precision handgun shooter? I'm not talking about somebody who can shoot quickly at steel plates at 7 to 10 yards. I'm talking about somebody who can shoot with great precision beyond that out to 50 yards and more. I'm talking about the type of quality shooting that you see on uh, YouTube uh, where a gentleman down in Tennessee can shoot the 80 yard steel gong with a snub nose handgun and things like that. That's the kind of precision shooting that I'm talking about. Now, the reason why I want to talk about precision shooting is because once you understand the concept of shooting a handgun with precision, everything else will simply fall right from the same tree. Uh, if anybody who can anybody who can strike the 10 ring at 50 yards on one of these targets right here, this is a 50 yard slow fire target. Anybody who can address that target and shoot that confidently and score in the bullseye, which is 8s, 9s, and 10s, you're getting up there in the ranks. And it's well within your capabilities, I guarantee you that. Now, not, everybody's, not everybody has the ability to, uh, you know, shoot expert or high master or anything like that. There's a, there's, that's, that's a very, very uh, skilled group of people. Uh, but there's no reason why you can't at least shoot into that black uh, with regularity and with confidence uh, from 25 and 50 yards. Now you might be saying, well, gee, you know, we've kind of gotten away from bullseye shooting because, you know, it's, 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 it's all over passe and things like that. Well, it ought not to be, to be honest with you, because the skills that you can attain by learning to shoot what the NRA classifies, as a matter of fact, as precision handgun shooting with the bullseye, and which the CMP, the Civilian Marksmanship Program, and military still uses with regularity in competition. Once you can shoot that sort of target with the skills that you hone using, using that type of format, you can shoot anything you want. It doesn't make any difference how far the target is or how close it is. It doesn't make any difference. You'll have that skill set. And once you, once you have developed that skill set, you know, you'll actually find yourself shooting at distant targets at 100, 150, 200 yards away with open sights and you'll be able to, you'll be able to score re regularly with, uh, with a handgun on such distant targets because it's an entirely different set of fundamentals than what I see uh, most people have these days. In the next set of videos, I want to I want to basically get squared away uh, with you on things such as correct grip, correct stance, correct area of aim, correct sight picture, correct breathing, all these things which uh, are sometimes overlooked. Yes, you'll oftentimes see somebody, uh, you know, address the issues of grip control and breath control and things like that. But you know, a lot of the techniques that I've seen out there are contrary and counterproductive to the actual uh, precision shooting that I'm going to teach you to do. Things like sight picture. Most, most people don't understand. If I were to poll even most instructors, they would not really be able to explain to me the true nature of the correct sight picture, nor would they be able to explain uh, how a person should uh, address the issue of uh, body position. When I first started learning how to shoot, I was inspired by not only my dad, but uh, you know, he got me these publications like this to read. This was Gil Hubbard's uh, shop out in uh, Knoxville, Illinois, back in the day. This is, bad. this is, I think, a 1964 catalog, if I'm not mistaken. This was the catalog is number 17. Well, you know, this this is a this is a wealth of information right here. If you can get a hold of one of these catalogs, this is a this is a shooter's bible that will tell you how the pros did it. Uh, Gil Hubbard himself was a competitive shooter uh, of high standing. Uh, but in these pages you'll see um, also uh, people like uh, William Joyner. You know, this was, this was, um, these were, he's a border patrol man who, uh, of high, high, 
high standing Paul Weston, we see the oh, Bill Tony, Bill Tony also a Border Patrol uh, agent of the day. Uh, most of these gentlemen have gone to their reward, I'm sure. Uh, most of them were World War II and uh, Korean War vets. Uh, Paul Weston, a uh, another high, another high scoring shooter. Um, but these people also inspired me to do something. Oh, and, and William Blankenship, big name in shooting. Lieutenant David Kartz, uh, Captain uh, W. McMillan. These were the, these were the people that inspired me to not only learn how to shoot but to do something else which was fundamentally even more important was to teach others how to shoot. They shared their skills. They didn't just, they didn't just simply go to the line and start shooting and get trophies. They wanted to make sure that America learned how to shoot as well as they did. They wanted to be able to have other shooters on the line competing with them at an even keel. So that's, that's how I got into instructing. Once I got to that level where I had, you know, I had, I had a wall full of trophies and things like that, I said, you know, there's, there's something more to this. And I was very fortunate to be able to uh, teach others how to do that. And uh, in so doing, you know, the, the reward is much greater. Uh, so I've, I've been able to multiply my gift from God and be able to uh, give it away. Because as a matter of fact, you know, every gift that we have is not just for us. It's, it's, God desires us to uh, hand it on. And Jesus himself spoke about that in the parable of the talents. You know, it can make our Father in Heaven very angry, as a matter of fact, if we hoard our talents and don't invest them in others or in, in ways that can uh, benefit uh, the rest of mankind. So I want to pass along what I know, the, the gift that I was given, I want to pass it along to you. So in the next uh, few videos, I'm going to go over everything with great detail. And, you know, I've already, I've already done this set of videos once, but they're old, they're on uh, analog tapes from uh, years ago. The sound quality and video quality was not very good, they're difficult to watch. So I want to redo these videos, uh, bring in all the information that you need to learn how to shoot with very high precision. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, tell others about us, and God bless.